Hello everyone, and I welcome you to this daily Gospel Reflection. We are now on Tuesday, on the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. I am Deacon Prudentia, and uh, I welcome you to this Gospel Reflection. So we begin our reflection in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now for our Gospel Reflection today, we reflect on the story of Zacchaeus taken from Gospel according to Luke, chapter 9, verse 19, I should say, verse 1 to 10. Jesus entered Jericho and was going through the town when a man whose name was Zacchaeus made his appearance. He was one of the senior tax collectors and a wealthy man. He was anxious to see what kind of Jesus was, but he was too short and could not see him for the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to catch a glimpse of Jesus who, who was to pass that way. When Jesus reached this path, he looked up and spoke to him, Zacchaeus, come down. Hurry, because I must stay at your house today. And he hurried down and welcomed him joyfully. They all complained when they saw what was happening. He has gone to stay at a sinner's house, they said. But Zacchaeus stood his ground and said to the Lord, Look, sir, I am going to give half of my property to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody, I will pay him back four times the amount. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek out and save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Now we understand two reasons why the people complained about the action of Jesus. One is that they believed that religious leaders like Jesus should not mingle with the sinners for fear of being contaminated with their sins. Another is that they want Jesus to join them in hating Zacchaeus due to his job as a tax collector. Sometimes when we hate somebody so much, we wish that everybody should hate that person as well. What makes this trap all the more tricky is that with our concept of justice, it is very much easy to rationalize that those who wronged us deserve to be punished. The general Jewish population hated Zacchaeus because of his work as a tax collector for the Roman government. They look at him as a traitor. They expected Jesus to punish him, or at least to hide him instead of showing him any compassion. Rather than falling into such a worldly concept of justice, Jesus showed the joy of winning somebody back to the fold. Instead of using the concept of justice to make Zacchaeus' life miserable, Jesus demonstrated how to handle those who went astray with compassion. We can reflect on this gospel story as a demonstration of God's unconditional love for us sinners. With Jesus saying that he came to seek out and save the lost, we can see that this story demonstrates how much God desires to redeem us from our sinfulness. 
We can also reflect on this story as an invitation for each one of us to be kind and compassionate to those who hurt us or those whom we hate. Most importantly, we can reflect on this story as an invitation for each one of us to be kind and compassionate to each of our own Zacchaeus within. We might have hated ourselves. We might have felt ashamed because of our sins. And we might have thought we deserve to be punished by God because of our sinfulness. We might have thought we are no longer worthy of God's attention. But if we imitate Jesus in seeking out our own lost and astray self, we might find the joy of becoming whole again. As Jesus said, our Zacchaeus within is also son of Abraham. So thank you very much and I wish you all the best this day. May God bless us all.